what else but Proxmox shared storage for Linux containers. This is documented in the Proxmox documentation. However, I don't think it makes it clear why you want to do this. In the Proxmox documentation, there's a section called Unprivileged LXC Containers, and there's a couple of steps we have to take to make this work. The principle is that these contain the storage area can then be used within a multiple Linux containers for the same file sets. Why would you want to do that? Uh, let's say you've got a file server running Samba, but you also want to actually download files into that Samba share. This can then be done through two Linux containers into the same folder, sharing them out as needed. Let me take you through it. This example, Proxmox server, I have got two disks. One is on a SSD and the second is on spinning Rust. So this volume, I'm going to simply initialize. And then under directory, I am going to add a directory on this disk, file system, extension 2 is fine, and I'm going to call it spinning disk. Now if I go back to my host shell, and I check inside of MNT PVE, I should see a mount point called spinning disk. Now as per the documentation, you need to add the mount point. Let me explain. If I use the web interface option, resources, I can add a mount point here. However, this does not give me the option of selecting that folder. It only goes straight into here and it will create another virtual disk. So let's not do this. Let's drop back to the host and have a look at what we need to do inside of the file. Keeping in mind, I already have two Linux containers on this host. I'll open the first one's config file. In here first, you want to add new mount point, then the host path, comma, and then inside of the container, the path. Now, theoretically, this will work. However, you will get permission errors. So let's follow the documentation. Documentation talks about mapping the local user the host user into the Linux container user. I'm going to add that to my config file. I'm going to copy this because I'd like to add it to my other Linux host. Now, in the documentation, we need to define that mapping. First, in this file. And then in the group. And now make sure you actually set the owner and the permissions for the folder to the right user IDs.
now we should be able to start both the containers and if we now attach to the container we should see a new mount point spinning disk and if I create a file in this and I exit from this container and switch over to the other we should see the file now just for clarity the reason why we see all these other folders is because in the host PVE by default this directory will be used for all the services of Proxmox to change this if you go to the data center storage you'll find spinning disk here and if you edit this you have the option to change what content will be on here you will have to keep one uh, I have no preference just decide on something that will not remove the other folders but it's safe to remove at this point i hope this has helped please let me know in the comments and have a great day